I'm Matt Frank, Vice President of Tacoma Firefighters, and I'd like to express my appreciation for you allowing us all to speak tonight. As many of you know, Tacoma Firefighters have a long history of working with the city to uh, get through budget issues. As recently as Mar the March 22, 2011 City Council meeting, uh, we made adjustments to our collective bargaining agreement to uh, continue to provide um, continued public safety levels, high public safety levels of citizens of Tacoma. Those adjustments to our collective bargaining agreement, uh, in the words of Bob Miles, made our contract more cost neutral. This was a commitment that Tacoma firefighters made to this community to continue serving it the safest way possible. We're now faced with a budget shortfall, and I say we because obviously this affects everybody that works and lives in the city of Tacoma. We all agree about the budget issue, but we disagree about the numbers. My question is to everyone here tonight, how do you solve a 23 to $31 million problem in a month and a half. We need time. As a member of Tacoma Firefighters Local 31, I'm asking for more time to look at every solution to save layoffs to the firefighters and to public safety in general. It looks as though all these cuts are made by percentage, and I understand that it looks as though public safety is being spared in the initial round. However, if you look at the $31 million, we're touched the same as everybody else. All those cuts are based on the $23 million that City Manager Ray Oriano has already specified that public safety will be the main ones hit if it goes up to $31 million. What the citizens of Tacoma will see from these cuts in public safety is increased response times to police and fire. There's no arguing that. Take away engine companies, take away police officers, the citizens will suffer. There will also be a decrease in public safety services. Uh, from everybody I talked to with the police, the community liaison officers make a huge impact to this community. A safe community for them, they provide a safe community, they provide a safe working environment for us. Tacoma Police provide that for us. The one thing uh, that I'd like people to not forget is we are first responders, but we're also emergency human services. We're the ones there that are there day and night when human services fail these people. We're there at 3 a.m. to solve problems when nobody else is. In economic times like we're facing now, we are the services that get used more and more. I would encourage you during these times to look at every possible revenue, revenue source. As Mayor Strickland has said multiple times, every $100,000 is an employee saved. And we have been there when employees have received their layoff notices. I would encourage one of the council members, I, would, I believe City Manager Ariano has, has taken part in that. I would encourage you to be there when those pink slips are handed out. Thank you.